The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We start this match at 120 pounds, and it's a good one. Watch Nick Klinger of Kittitsini with the takedown in overtime to beat Matt Tripodi of Jefferson 3-1 to give the Cougars an early 3-0 lead. I went out there trying my best, but I couldn't hit a takedown in the beginning. So I was just trying to use my setup and see what I could work out. At 126 pounds, Pat Harsani of Jefferson gets the two here on the takedown en route to a 9-0 major over Nick West, and Jefferson leads 4-3. On to 132 pounds and watch Austin Scrivani and Kid Tinney get the two here on the reversal as he would major Nils Holly 8-0 and Kid Tinney retakes the lead 7-4 over the Falcons. Tom Murphy of Kid Tinney puts on a clinic at 138 pounds as he built up an 18-6 lead before getting the fall in 533 over Frank Avalone and Kid Tinney has a 13-4 lead. Then it's Nick Romines of Kittatinny with the takedown and then the pin of Antonio Letiza in 5.30 at 145 pounds and the Cougars are starting to put together a run as they lead 19-4. I knew I had to go out there and get six. Uh, I took my time, I tried to work my way into the match and wait you know, for the right opportunity and when it came to me, it came to me and I just tried to stick, stick it and I did so. But Luke Bone at 152 pounds stops the bleeding momentarily for Jefferson Watch him pin Connor Zandarski in just 24 seconds, and Jefferson trails by 9, 19 to 10. But Kittatini has a very quick answer at 160, as it's all Brandon Olsen, as he sticks Ryan Riconti in 29 seconds to push the Cougars lead to 25 10. At 170 pounds, it's Dylan Wonder of Kittatini making short work of Rob Greer with a quick 36 second fall, and Kittatini has a 31 10 lead. We move to 182 pounds. Kenny Tinney wraps up the match here. Watch Kieran Garrity with the takedown of Tyler Zimmerman and route to a 14-4 major decision, and Kenny Tinney holds a 35-10 lead. After a Jefferson forfeit at 195, Garrett Armstrong goes to work for the Cougars, and he pins Rob Hanos in 253, and it's 47-10. I don't know. I've been practicing hard all, all season, and uh, I mean, I wasn't scared of him bumping up. I knew I could beat him. I knew I could pin him and uh, I got some bonus points for the team. At heavyweight, A.J. Willard of Jefferson gets the escape here as he would go on to a 2-1 decision over Tom Smith and Kittatinny still holds a 47-13 lead. They move to 106 pounds and watch Chris Schrex of Jefferson with the fall in 335 over Jake Van Windegren to cut the Falcons' deficit to 47-19. And in the final match of the night, it's Brian Damon of Jefferson as he gets the takedown here during his 11-2 major decision over Christian Silva, but Kittatinny would roll to a 47-23 Freedom Division win. I mean, it's a big win for our program. We can take it from here. From here, we can win the sectionals and go on and maybe win states against Boundbrook. Winning a tough match like this against you know a good team, it help us give us momentum. You know, some more uh, confidence in ourselves and I know we're going to do well and this will just help us keep moving. We knew coming in here that it was going to be a tough match but uh, we, we should come out on top uh, and uh, we did. We came out big. We knew it was going to be scrappers and, and we, we jumped out early. We, we got a couple of uh, wins with my freshman uh, Klinger and uh, Scrivani winning two out of the first three and uh, you know those were what coaches, wrestling coaches call toss up matches and we got we got two out of the three. I think all three of them really were toss-up matches in our mind. I don't know uh, how uh, Coach Moscatello felt, but we thought three toss-up matches, we got two out of three. So right out, early in the evening, we're in a driver's seat. And he started off, Klinger started off slow, and uh, he had to pull out that tie right at the end of regulation, or else maybe it could have gone a different way. Oh, he, it looked like he was going to lose one nothing. It was seconds to go, and he, and he hustled and, and got an escape. Uh, there was no control when the buzzer went off, so uh, it gave us new life, and we had another minute to, to try to win a match, and, you know, he pulled it off. He came right through at the end. I'm really proud of him. He's a young kid. He's maturing nicely. Uh, he's, he had good grammar school credentials, but high school's a whole new uh, world, and uh, you know, he's taking his lumps. I think he's under 500, but today was a big win for us to, to get our team going. And right in the middle of the bout, you got those big pins, especially from Romines and Armstrong. Uh, Romines has been, uh, Nick has been uh, sick, and so it was really nice. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, looks like we're just going to get a three-pointer, and he comes up with a six by the 
I mean, I, you know, when it finally, you know, came to happen, I guess if we didn't get the pin, we would end up with four. But that, those two extra points, again, it just gives us momentum and, and picks us, picks our spirits up. Put you over the top. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Going forward from here now, what do you look for? Well, this was a huge win for us for our NJAC. I mean, I missed the SCIL, but this is our NJAC Freedom Division. The top teams are like Lenape Valley, Kittatinny, and uh, Jefferson. We took care of Lenape early when they had some sickness and Ill injuries. Uh, Jefferson was, you know, running all cylinders. I think this was weekend was the first weekend they got beat. So uh, this was a big match for us. I never overlook it. I have Hackettstown. They're in our league on Thursday. They're not the caliber of Jefferson. And we still have Newton and Opacom. But this was... You know, it, this might have been the, the league clincher.